we got all of these pizza snacks. I'm so happy about that. Oh yeah, party poppers. And then there was this other pack that we brought in. Presents pack. That one looks all purpose, birth birthday or whatever. This one looks good. <laughs> that one's really tall. <laughs> um series i want to make a series with a set of characters that i made from scratch um both 2d and 3d characters and i can't freaking make up my mind like how do i want them to look like maybe a little bit of you know how in some games they'll have the 2d version of the characters when they're talking like in the chat bubbles but then they'll have the th 3d version of characters in other aspects of the game I don't know if I'll get, I don't know what my staple is going to be because I don't know if I have the patience for the characters and that's really what I, what I wanted to do. So, but I am going to continue. Actually, just earlier today, right before stream, I was watching Jenny. someone in Blender. Jenny, baby. Hey, we've got a raid. A717, what's up, friend? Nice to see you. Yay. Hey, thanks for the raid. I have a raid pop up right over here. Oh yeah, so I was watching this like facial rigging in Grease Pencil and Blender tutorial today. And I was just like, oh my god, there's just so much work, so much effort. I'm down for work and effort, don't get me wrong, but I like to pick and choose because I'm not getting any younger and I really have to like kind of think how long is something going to take me and like estimate. If I'm lucky, something won't take me as long as I think it's going to take, but you know, realistically, I like to think about how long is something going to take me? Is that really what I want to spend my time on? How many more hours of a lifetime do I really have to spend on any anything? <laughs> So I try to spend every moment, you know, as best as possible. So I don't know if character modeling is going to be the thing for me, but maybe. I'll press play and show you this cat game that we've been working on the cat game every week for about a year or actually more than a year now. So um, we're trying to make a little bit of progress on the cat game each week. And so today we're making a scene for when people have a birthday and so they might want to play the birthday scene in the cat game. These don't exactly have colliders on them just yet, but we just added this pizza party on the table. Pizza and chips and we're adding some presents over here. Ooh, we can add we can add the presents and stuff to the UI. We can make it where the cat can knock that stuff off. All right, so in the cat game, the cat knocks stuff over and it's like a whole genre, you know, the cat mischief game genre so kitty is instead of like most cat games where the cat just wants to terrorize everyone in this game the cat reads the mail on the table and realizes that the rent is due and if we don't pay the rent then we're gonna get kicked out but luckily that we also have renters insurance so if basically if we thrash the house then we'll get insurance money and then we'll be able to pay for the rent with the insurance money from thrashing the house so the cat is actually trying to help the owners pay rent by uh, cashing in on the, the insurance. That's the plot of the game, and uh, we're trying to make a level that, um, right now there's only one level actually, but today we're, we copied the level, we're making it an, into a birthday level. I was gonna make it where you can, um, where you can turn on the TV by hitting this here remote control, but right now you can only turn on the TV by touching the TV. We'll pretend like you lost the remote and you have to literally get up and go press the on button. So that texture on the TV isn't totally related just yet, but it will be soon. And it has a texture that works on there. And when we jump on the piano, the piano makes noise now. Later, we're going to figure out how to randomize a few notes on the piano. And you know how I'm always like, oh, we got, we got to do some more stereo recording for the cat game. And pretty much for any game, I want to do some cool like sound effects with the recorder. So we're going to record the actual piano sound effects and I was going to try to make it sound like an actual cat was jumping on the piano. So like four notes or something where the pause would be. <laughs> that right there sounds like the cat's actually playing a song a bit. So that's what we have so far. Um, we'll make it where the cat can knock off the presents. Kapla! And then we'll, we can make a little prefab. A present prefab. You know how the heart has a little like animation? When you pick it up we're gonna make a pickup effect like that only instead with instead of the heart then we'll make it with Control d for duplicate and we'll say present pickup or like gift gift is shorter that's all it looks like right now so instead of that we'll make it have presence okay the emission right now it's got i think a renderer but we want it to have a mesh present 
Okay, wait, I got it. I got this. <laughs> okay, this here present to you. And then here we go. Hey, that is so cute. Maybe if I don't have, like, I wonder if since it's um, a 3D model as the particle, but it doesn't have that many polys, is it going to slow down when people play it? Okay, let's see. It times out after three seconds, so under the emission amount. Okay, that there's size and color over lifetime, duration. Max particles, let's say 500 instead. That does not look like 500. What does 100 look like? I can't even tell the difference, but I'm pretty sure that that means that there's 100 particles. How about if we just put three? Then we can test if that's actually changing anything. One, two, three. We could just have like 20 or something. Cute. Not even, we don't even need 20 of them, you know? Even just 10. I couldn't even tell the difference. You can't even see them when there's too many. Cute. Bam. All right. Um. <laughs> also, they need to have a sound effect. All right, because the heart has a sound effect. Um, has the pickup script and the rotator. Okay, so the actual pickup effect is the thing that has the sound effect on it. So this is this is the sound effect that we're using for the hearts. It's kind of a wimpy little... <laughs> I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. Um, I had brought some more sound effects in here a while back. I feel like there's still not really enough. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's a slide whistle. Um, yeah. So I'm going to find a present sound that is worthy. <laughs> Let's find it. Oh, present sound. That's a good idea. We could make our own sound effect for that too, actually. I mean, we could do sound effect recording. I have some paper. There it is. That's <laughs> I want to keep the same heart sound effect. It's like number 21. All right. So let's get back to <laughs> It had become pretty heartwarming, and we might get rid of the hearts later, but probably not. They'll probably still be here and there. Um, I just don't want them to be the only thing. They just happen to be the first thing that we had added to be picked up in the game. So over here, and then we need game sound number 21. That's the coolest thing I have <laughs> about ever five, seen. six, and seven? Those are all good. Hey, we got something! Hey, hey Griffin! Hey, friend! Wow, thanks for that big raid! Hi, friends! Welcome. Wait, I have I have like cool pop-ups for raids. So we got these three presents that we just added and we were making a birthday scene because it's like, I have a lot of friends whose birthdays are around this time of year and I feel like every time I just never know what to get people for their freaking birthdays. Ah, ah that scared me. The uh, light just fell. Anyway, um, so we're making a birthday scene in the cat game. And I guess the keg is kind of blocking the birthday banner, but there's a keg on the table and we found some fun birthday stuff in the asset store. So as much as I love making assets from scratch, I kind of suck at it. And if there's free assets like this pizza pack, um, I went ahead and added a bunch of pizza to the cat game and all this stuff on the table was uh, just stuff that we found for free. And hard to see, I'll put a collider on it, but there's chips right there. I'll make it bigger so the cat can stand on It's basically the cat game, but a different level, a birthday level. And the keg doesn't have anything interesting, but it would be fun if the cat could turn on the keg. That could be something to put on our to-do list. For today and the birthday idea, we had over here like a hamster that will escape when you enter the bedroom, then the hamster escapes. And instead of like eating the hamster, then the cat will return the hamster to the cage and also you can jump up onto the counter and it'll show you the letters for the mail and the mail basically says that you're you better pay rent otherwise you're gonna get kicked out but if you trash the house and you have to cash in on your renter's insurance then you can get a bunch of money and pay rent on time so the cat's actually trying to help by thrashing the house and getting renter's insurance in time outside in the backyard is the other cool part 
and there's this we, we spent a lot of time on the stream designing this fun backyard <laughs> and getting all this stuff to work so the cat can do the rope swing and the trampoline and this thing will go around and around um, the flamingos are kept track of on the UI so there's a certain amount of flamingos that you can pick up and hearts I didn't know at first I thought maybe there was only one cat game like I saw PewDiePie playing a cat game a long time ago and I was like, oh, my God, that's so cute. But I, I always wanted to make a cat game because I know everyone with a cat has probably made a cat game at some point in their lives. I kind of see it as a rite of passage and that the world could always use more cat games. I mean, are you even a true game dev until you've made a cat game? <laughs> games I've been playing lately. I haven't streamed it yet, but I've been playing Ori, Will of the Wisp. That was hard to see with the keg in the way. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. I really like this little party pack. It came with poppers, pizza, and a keg. Like, wherever the cat starts, I just want to be able to see. I know, we'll just start the cat over here. Also, this got a little bit too big. <laughs> I need to make a hotkey for... What if I... I've been toggling between this a lot lately, which is... Oh, center. Oh, it's different in the newest version of Unity. Cute! Oh my god, I'm so happy about this. By the way, the birthday stuff was just free on uh, the asset store. I happened to notice that there was like this birthday banner and the poppers and a few other birthday related things. <laughs> Is this really where we want the um, camera to start though? It was actually pretty perfect. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we got animals and guitars now in the cat game. So cute. We don't need to change anything about this because it's a child. All right, I think this works. We can go walk into the backyard now and check. Hey, hey, look at it. It's kind of hard to see because the lamb is a lamb still. It's not exactly. A, hey, no, it's not really working. All right, let's put the cat way back over here or something so that we don't have to walk all the way over. Come on. All right, this one still works. Thank God. So exactly what we were looking for earlier and we found one nice plate that's a really shiny plate all right bam <laughs> ship it just kidding <laughs> damn that pizza looks good next time we get a really yummy pizza i'm gonna take a picture like that save and then Oh my god. Oh, I know. Maybe when the cat sits on the pizza, then it could get a point. Maybe I did need three guitars. I was like, I'll only need two. <laughs> Alright, see, we got a piano in here now. We'll also make it where the cat can jump on this one, too. Make noise. There's already one functional piano downstairs. But we're going to make it where there's like randomized notes for when the cat jumps on it save we got the keyboard upstairs and the piano downstairs and the all this other good stuff i can't wait to make the tv more awesome like I, <laughs> the newscast for the tv which is supposed to like explain like some of the story we haven't even like gotten to that part yet but it's something i have been wanting to get to and even one time we uh started to make like a newscast overlay but I always see so many good ones that I couldn't really decide on mine just yet. It's like, I'll probably play a game pretty soon. Like, I'll probably play Spider-Man as soon as that outfit comes in the mail. <laughs> Thanks again to the subscribers today. We got some subs and um, some gifted subs. Thank you. 